Hello and welcome to IABM TV. Joining me today is Dave Frederick, Senior Director, Media and Entertainment for Quantum. Dave, welcome to IABM TV. Well, thanks for having me, Ben. Can you start by telling us what's new with Quantum? Yeah, you know, this show here at IB, I, our BBE for us is the uh, debut of Stornex 5.4. We released that at the end of the year and uh, this is our first chance to show it to the EMEA audience. So can you tell us a bit more about Stornex 5.4? Yeah, 5.4 is actually turning into a, a, a great release for customers that are trying to get the most out of uh, archive and off-site locations. It includes a feature called FlexTier, which allows Stornex, to, uh, Stornex users to tier their content on an automatic policy basis to either their own public cloud account or uh, object storage accounts, including our own Lattice object storage, but also we can uh, tier data off to third-party object storage as well, like uh, NetApp WebScale, IBM CleverSafe, and Scality Ring. So those are all available as new targets, and for customers, uh, that gives them a lot of flexibility and options on how, how they can tier their data. And they, with Stornex, they maintain complete visibility and access to their content, even when it's been tiered off. All right, the other thing that we've added, uh, which actually we have some partners here at the show, uh, that are involved in is the dynamic application environment. This is a way for uh, our technology partner vendors to deploy their applications as a virtual machine that runs in the storage platform. And so that reduces the amount of networking uh, needed to set things up, it reduces the uh, server component to run that separate app, it puts the application very close, close proximity to the storage. Uh, which is where they usually are. Most of these are either MAMs or some kind of uh, transcoding service or in the case of Aspera, um, WAN, WAN acceleration software. So we have 10 partners now, including people like IPV, Metis, uh, Contemo, um, CatTV, Elements, Aspera, Telestream. They're, they all have uh, applications that they can deploy right on the Excellus platform. And finally, we added a number of new uh, high-speed inter interconnects, including uh, 40 gigabit E for uh, people that want a fast Ethernet connection to their clients. And as we see with the uh, more rapid adoption of 4K and higher resolutions, that um, the client connectivity is, is really key for that kind of workload. So a lot of solutions all with the client and user very much in mind. Yeah. Um, what's, what's coming up? What's in the future for Quantum? Well, what we see is that um, as we move further down the road, and I think everyone at the show will, will, would probably agree with me that the storage capacity is becoming absolutely commoditized. Uh, between the cloud itself, uh, disk drives have come down probably as far as they possibly can, uh, given the cost of manufacture. Flash is starting to become less expensive although we have a blip in the market right now, but um, less expensive and, and it's expected that it will eventually uh, pass disk on a cost per terabyte basis. So with that happening, the focus is shifting from just getting enough space to store things to how do I manage all this, these things that I have in storage. So data management is becoming uh, a much more important component of our conversations with customers. Uh, when you get into the uh, when you have a thousand files or so, it's not a big deal. When you get into hundreds of thousands uh, and pushing billions of files, that data management becomes crucial to being able to produce content in a reliable, and predictable, and efficient way. So you're going to see more data management from us. Also, we are just in the process of completing an extensive uh, round of tests of 4K formats in the storage environment to really do a, a, a real-world uh, performance analysis of 4K on our storage using different types of disk drives, different types of arrays, different formats, and different end user applications. And the uh, results of this is going to be coming out uh, for NAB. Okay. And so uh, we have that to look forward to and we'll be delivering that uh, to our customers at that point and to the entire market. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Good. Thank you, Ben. So lots of exciting things coming up with Quantum. You can find out more at quantum.com.